So here's the situation. I'm writing my physics IA, and I'm doing it in Google Docs. But it turns out that IB wants the equations to have variables which are italicized and units which are not italicized. But when you do the equation editor in Google Docs, everything is automatically italicized. All the letters are in italics, and you can't undo it, not easily anyway. So if I try to undo it, I highlight the M and I go to format, text, and I try to unitalicize it, it won't let me. And if I use the keyboard shortcut, control I, control I, control I, nothing happens. It doesn't let me do it. So here's the workaround that I suggest. You're going to insert a non-italicized M. And the way you can do that is you go to insert here, and you go to special characters, click on that, and then you're going to search for mathematical sans and then M, because I'm looking for an M in this case. And here's the things that pop up. I want this nice boring M, so I'm going to hover my cursor over it and click right there. And if I do that, it inserts it into the equation. And then I can go over here, get rid of my italicized M. And there we go. This M represents meters. It should not be italicized because it's a unit. And now I have a not italicized M. Now the S right next to it, that represents seconds. So I want to get rid of it. I want to replace it with a non italicized S. So here's the process again. I go to insert, special characters, and then I'm going to search for mathematical, I have to spell it right, mathematical sans, and in this case, S. And there's my nice, boring, non italicized S. I hover my cursor over it, click on it, and it inserts it into the equation. There we go. Okay, I'm going to leave that T alone because that represents time. But this M right here represents meters, so I need to replace it with a non-italicized M. So again, special characters, search by keyword, mathematic, I can't spell it, mathematical sans M. There it is. Okay, and now my equation looks better. Let's try it with a different equation. Okay, here, well that T, that represents time, that's a variable, leave it alone. And then I've got this number right there, and then I've got seconds. i got to replace the S with a non-italicized S. So special characters, search for mathematical sans S. And there it is. Click on the S. It inserts it into the equation. All right, and then I've got kilograms. Well, that should be non-italicized, so I'll do this. Mathematical sans K. Click on it, there we go, and while I'm here, I'll get the G, okay, there's the G. All right, that's better. Eh, it's a little bit messy. I think I'll add some parentheses around this thing just so it looks a little nicer. All right, that's probably better. Um, if you want to, you could add a little dot for multiplication between them. Mm, it's kind of a style situation, but... Maybe that looks a little bit nicer. Okay, this S at the end of the equation, that should not be italicized. So again, insert special character. Mathematical sans S. There we go. And that's more along the lines of what IB is looking for. And let's do this last example. That T represents time, leave it italicized, and then 8.0 S. Ooh, that S represents seconds, so that should be a non-italicized S. Insert special characters, mathematical sans S. There it is. Okay, that's a little messy. Maybe put parentheses around this 8 seconds coefficient. Yeah, that looks a little bit nicer. And then I've got an E there, E to the minus 4.0 inverse Kelvin. Okay, that K represents Kelvin. So insert special character, mathematical sans K. Insert non-italicized capital K for Kelvin. 
Okay, there we go. That capital T represents temperature, so I'll leave it alone. And then this last S right there represents seconds. It should not be italicized, so let's insert special character, mathematical sans S. And there we go. And that looks a little closer to what IB would expect in your IA. Hope that helps.